Hello! Today we are not going to be entering the gungeon. Instead, we are going to go someplace where hats are more appropriate. I wish I had found my Greek fisherman hat, but sadly, it is not to be had. I uh, seem to be quite loud indeed, so we'll see how well this goes. Uh, the stream is live. Welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. This is Trick Dempsey. Welcome to the Crooked Thimble Presents Rogue Life. You only live once. Uh, today, uh, rather than playing Enter the Gungeon, we'll be playing Sunless Sea, a beautiful Victorian horror comedy game uh, by Fail Better Games. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, there is actually a genius uh, little video on Cog Watch, I believe is what it's called, uh, which is presented by Rock Paper Shotgun uh, that stars uh, Quentin Smith of Shut Up and Sit Down and Cool Ghost fame. Uh, talking about how, um, well, boredom can play an important part inside of games. So I'm going to tell you, spoiler warning up front, this game has considerably less action than uh, Enter the Gungeon by probably some sort of monstrous factor, if you were to do any kind of math at it. Um, so uh, we're going to get started off on that. Uh, hopefully it launches uh, without trouble. Uh... I have uh, updated my stream to prevent the camera crash that we were experiencing earlier, where I would just speak out of the blackness and everything would be dead and horrible. Um, and so, uh, let's see if all of my other settings are totally boned. Uh, so, uh, let's swap over to the game. Uh, now, Sunless Sea is uh, pretty strange. I am actually have lost all of my save games due to uh, wiping my computer because everything's bad and horrible all the time. Uh, but I have my uh, Pinkie Pie tea mug. I have uh, a mysterious and indistinct beverage inside of some sort of traditional cup. It's water. And uh, let's see how our, uh, our Z-Captain does. Uh, I've done something terrible for this stream that all of you will actually probably notice right away. Uh, which is, I'm going to attempt to read the startling amount of writing that is inside of this game uh, when it comes up. So, that'll be good. Captain's Making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you! Welcome to the Unterzee! Alright, we're gonna choose my past. Uh, now you're a captain. Now you belong to the Unterzee. Who were you before? Uh, I would like to, uh... Let's do this. I am a natural philosopher. Your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the Neath, the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. Uh, your acquaintance, the plausible surgeon, uh, I don't think I've ever played with this starting set, will serve as the ship doctor until you find someone better. Uh, now, actually, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about mechanics, because this is actually kind of what I love about the game. Uh, there's a little clunky stuff. They've actually talked about it in their post-mortem on this, that, that using the exact story engine that they did for Fallen London uh, makes this... This is really difficult to grok, actually, to understand. But nonetheless, it's really neat. Uh, now, a... My, I'm not a stranger anymore, so uh, what's strange is, is if you choose to determine your past later, uh, you actually get this quality called a stranger actually persists. But right now I've got mirrors, which is going to let me see strange things and, like, perceive stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to be after, what does winning mean to you? I'm going to actually fulfill myself with uh, gather a hundred tales, learn all that you can of the Z, write a masterpiece, retire. I'm going to die long before... I managed to accomplish that. That's just the truth of the matter. Uh, so uh, now I have a new objective ambition quality, uh, and so I'm going to be London's most venerated explorer. Uh, how are they going to address me? Uh, I like that the default is madam. Uh, I like that they're reinforcing that madam is perfectly normal. Uh, you can always have captain. Uh, 
Uh, they, they do actually a lot with gender in this game because it doesn't matter. It actually used to matter a lot more inside of their forms of address. Uh, and they actually just posted uh, an article about how they were kind of changing how many gags they make for characters who choose indistinct gender. Uh, because, well, indistinct gender is like a whole thing. I, on the other hand, am going to decide to be addressed as Madam. Uh, madam it is, who are you, addressed as quality. Like, you're getting a bunch of inventory items, essentially, inside of this game that, that quietly are all of your qualities, and addressed as is one of them, just like I was a stranger earlier. Uh, let's see. Uh, have I been underwater long? Yes. There are people with... Um, and I will be Eliza! Uh, because that's fun. No, I'm not going to go check advice for captains because I'm a bastard. Uh, I'm going to go to the shipyard. I'm going to go to the shops because I don't want anything from the shipyard. Right now, I've only got five supplies, and uh, that means I'm going to get murder killed uh, by my crew possibly eating me. So I'm going to actually pick up like two more supplies, and two more fuel, uh, and I'll have ten echoes to bribe people on the sea if I ever want, that, want to do that. Uh, this will go poorly, which you'll hear me say a lot. I'm at the lodgings. Here you may catch up on your correspondence, rest, and retire altogether from seafaring life. The better your lodgings, the better the quality of your retirement. Naturally. Uh, read the morning papers. The Unexpurgated Gazette, the magazine formerly known as London Magazine, the spiteful trumpeter, news. Go. The Connate is threatening war, they always are. London's colonies in the Carilean coast want independence, they always do. The Unto Z, the paper's report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Oh ho! A promotional coupon for Miss Plenty's provisioners for a half cask of salt herring. You could use that. I've gained supplies, that's awesome. And I now have recent news, uh, which is kind of like a weird currency that you can use to like talk to particular characters in the game. Uh, and so that's awesome, and you should always do that. Uh, rest in the room above the blind hellsman. I need to be more terrified. Uh, purchase an elegant townhouse. I need lots of echoes. Uh, and retire, which means I need to actually, like, kind of get the thing happening. Uh, I want to get the elegant townhouse soon, because sleeping above the blind hellsman is uh, real tough on you. Uh, for reasons that will probably become clear when I, like, horribly die. Uh, I can visit the Admiralty Survey Office, uh, which is really nice. The Admiralty, the, ad blah, 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 blah. the Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. The Survey Office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Ask if there's anything particular they need. Well, if we can be assured of your discretion. This port. Speak to our agent there in return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. Retrieve strategic m information from Gators Morn in the Corsair's Forest, somewhere not far from home waters. So I'm going to keep an eye out for Gators Morn, uh, which is going to be a location that we'll come across inside the game. Uh, this is a roguelike. If I die, I die. Uh, there's a bit of persistence where I can hand stuff over to my next, uh, uh, to my next dude. Uh, but I'm actually, I think I'm set. I don't think there's anything else to do inside of London. Uh, and so I'm going to launch. Uh, now, the map is randomly generated kind of each time. Uh, there are certain sort of like waves of difficulty that kind of go as you get further inside of it. Uh, and if I understand right, the coast is always the same, uh, which means there's a bit of a cheat here. But I can send out a Z-Bat, because it's spelled the Z, and it will come back telling me that various things are nearby. Uh, so it just found uh, Hunter's Keep, which is now marked on my map. Uh, and so I'm going to go there because it's awesome. Uh, it ain't Gator's Morn, uh, which is also awesome. Uh, but, you know, we do what we can. Uh, so, uh, I didn't actually get this message this time. Uh, but... You can do, you can, like, become a high seas trader in this game. That can be, like, what you do for a living. Uh, but that's not going to actually pay off very well. Most of the money in the game, uh, Echoes as they're called, is to actually to be had through exploration. You're going to get fragments, you'll get secrets from that, and you'll gain Echoes because this game probably has too many currencies. Uh, so I'm going to dock here at Hunter's Keep. A quiet isle. A grand old house. 
A hump of dark rock swathed in mist, like a hundred other Unterzee islands. But there's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the false star light, raked gravel paths. You stand on the docks as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. What will you do? Uh, present yourself to the house? They have heard many ship, ship come in. Why hide? Walk the gardens. Uh, take a couple of burly sailors with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconnoiter the island, actually. Plunging cliffs, soft green lawns, a well, a well tucked away in a fold of the grounds. Anything else? Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes, even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle, the house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed, at least. Spy on the house. A very modest challenge. 75% chance of success because I am good at mirrors? It's not a mirrors question. It's a veils question. Ah, but, um, sure. Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through the half-open French window into a grand parlor, grand in size, if a little reduced in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another, fair-haired but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says. The music, the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry. Then the end will come. For me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush! If we don't speak of it, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. I got fragments, I know something of Hunter's, see Hunter's Keep, and I succeeded in the challenge! Hooray! Uh, I'm going to present myself to the house, because why not? Knock and enter. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare and are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The colorful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Luncheon with the sisters. Uh, who am I gonna who am I gonna eat with? Uh, uh, I can't do news news, so. Uh, I'll talk to Cynthia, the eldest one, since she seems to be, like, in control here. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above the wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here. I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. I've lost hunger. Uh, I know the sisters the keep. Uh, I've gotten Salt's attention. The gods of the sea, that's always bad. It's watching you, even if it exists. Uh, my iron is fine. I've got a tale of terror. Uh, I have an extra terror. Uh, and I gained supplies. That's great. Wonderful. That's, that's awesome. Uh, I can... Uh, meet with them again? Uh, I'm gonna do that. News, news! Uh, you ask the sulfur-eyed maid to carry a few hints of your news to the sisters. Oddly enough, she comes back with a message that their headaches are cured, and you're invited to lunch! Uh, this time, uh, I think I'm gonna keep talking to Cynthia. Maybe it actually changes. I don't know if it does. Uh, let's do this. Oh, damn, it's the same. Well, I got more supplies from it. Uh, I should have talked to one of the other ones. Uh, if I get a repeat text, I'm not going to read it, because that's silly. Uh, let's go. Let's roll. I mean, I could... Mm. Ah, sure. The maid makes it clear, through a series of unwelcoming growls, that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are all indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. We have lots of lunches here. Uh, I'm actually going to instantly talk to my surgeon, because I can uh, speak to speak to the plausible surgeon. Hello, my dear, my dear. Sit down carefully. Just let me tidy away these implements. We don't want any carelessness, do we? Uh, increase my pages, which I can't do because I don't have a secret. 
uh, ask after his desires and trim it and his ambitions. He's traveled much, seen all manner of wounded malady, but is there something left for him to discover? Any place he wishes to go? The Chelinate! That's tough to pronounce. You know it? They collect corpses. He shifts in his seat. Fast, noble, complicated corpses. What I could learn, what I could see, my dearest captain, if we ever find ourselves in the Chelinate, I hope you might see fit to release me from our arrangement. Somewhere in the Far East, yeah, good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna die before then. So are you. I might eat you before then. Uh, let's see. What can we find with our Z-Bat? Come back, Z-Bat. I want news. There are no islands. Well, I'll just go north. North will be fine, right? Dust echoes. Even a sepia tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. Oh, fuck. It's a pirate. Uh, by the way, I curse on this. Uh, how do I turn off my lights? Oh god! Oh god, why? No, everything's bad. Leave me the fuck. Oh god. Okay. Screw it. Lock on. Target that Megalops and fire! Target that explosion and fire. There we go. Now I killed it, so nothing bad could happen now, right? Oh, this game. With a forlorn and mailing cry. I'm gonna try that again. With a forlorn and wailing cry, the megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, as blush as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. It was clearly red. That was clearly red blood. Its golden glow begins to dim. Butcher it for supplies. I got plenty of supplies. For knowledge. It's... It's not dead! You haul it aboard and set to work with your knives and acids, and it flops unexpectedly to life. Zailers rush to your aid with guns and porting pikes. By the time you've finished, you're unharmed, but there's not much left of the beast. You tip it reluctantly into the sea. Or, more accurately, the Z. So I've taken some damage, that's no good. Vanderblight. Okay, where's it gonna be? Oh, it's like way over there. Way over there. Now there's no like HUD. Oh god, how bad's my terror? Seven, everything's fine. Uh, so I'm slowly gaining- oh my god, those are so bad, I'm gonna go run. Bye, bye bats, terrible, super terrible bats that eat my crew. Time to leave. Oh, hey, Thunderblight. That's great. Uh, maybe I'll make some friends in, uh, in the tomb colonies. Tomb colonies sound fun, right guys? Yeah. No. Tomb colonies- Green glass and basalt, salt and silence. Few die and fall in London. They come here instead. On deck, you can hear the sap. Blah, 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 blah. It's time for tea. On deck, you can hear the sound. You can hear the sound that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience, or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Uh, I'm gonna explore Vanderbilt. Is this gonna get me my gather gossip? Who's plotting what? Along the coasts of the Intersea, it's remarkably hard to die, and the decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home, or their politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, enough to give you contacts in London, to get your contacts in London interested. This is how you make money, by the way. This is the best way to make money. Uh, I can visit the curator, or I can explore vendor blight. Eh, sure. Here, they favor candlelight over gaslight. 
The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neath wall stone, carved with blank-eyed, unsmiling faces and blocky, stoic serpents. Creepers climb the shattered pyramid, an owl blinks at you from the idol's mouth. In the undergrowth, a cave lizard munches decorously on white cricket. This place seems peaceful. Rest a while. Ah, sure. Wine and sea bread. You and your comrades find some stones to perch on and much lava bread, truffles and herring. Someone passes a bottle of gray fields, an adequate vintage. White crickets buzz in the weeds, a shiver of wind passes, and then the air is still. With what absence of chill that passes for warmth down here, two sailors compa compare tattoos. Your head swims pleasantly with the wine. You've lost supplies, you've lost terror, that's all for now. Uh, I think it's time to visit the curator. Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, much like the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. No more light. The obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into the near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a lattice ivory tube. There is no other source of light. Nice picture. The bandaged shape, no larger than a child, lies crumpled in, the ca in a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Listen to Z Captain, Silkskin, not much left of me. I will go into the grand sanatorium. Bring me colors. Seven colors. Pay well. Seven colors? Cosmogone, Irigo, Pelgin, Steward has list. Find them here and there across the wide black sea. Ask about the Grand Sanatorium. A low, a long low chuckling. Oh, silkskin, you don't want to know. The chuckling becomes a cough. We don't die here below, not unless we go to Z, so we needed something else, somewhere to end. Accept the commission. No more words. Thank you. This poor flesh thirsts for colors. It collapses, rustling back and forth, on, back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches, the flo reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old. Old as dust. We will be grateful if you do this for... Do us this one last favor. He's obsequious, I guess. That's, that, that'll do. Uh, so we're done. Uh, I'm really surprised I don't, I couldn't pick up a colonist. Maybe I can do that later. Can I sense anything with my Z-Zense? That's not a word. That's not a word that exists even in this game. No islands in range. Uh, let's just go northeast. Let's see how it's going. Uh, I've got nine fuel. Uh, how am I doing on food? I got eight food. Everything's fine. Jesus H, Mary, and Joseph, I knew it was there. knew it was there. I should not have gone that way. Alright. Yeah, murder's bad. You're not going to see me fight many things in this, he says. Not knowing what he's going to run into next. Uh, because it's awful. Everything that's bad. Everything is bad. Everything's going to kill you. Codex is a long way to the... No, Jesus Christ! Uh... God, no. 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 Don't die this soon. This is the worst. Uh, oh god, why? Uh, please, please have a dock or something that I can hide at. Uh, sensor's arch, sure, great, whatever, awesome. What have I found? Okay, there's a dock, that's good. By good, I mean I'm gonna die here. This is wither, oh great. Wonderful. I... I never... Oh! 
God, it's another one. Uh, oh, oh, poor Captain Eliza. I'm so sorry. Uh, you had a nice, short, terrible life. Uh, Wither, a chilly city beside a waste of salt. Behind the great arch over the bay, the pale wastes stretch, white and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might almost imagine they were snow. North of the city, the salt pools fizz with unlikely color. This is Gather Intelligence. The citizens of Wither enjoy questions, so much so that they always answer a question with another question. This can make intelligence gathering rather frustrating. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Yes, it is. Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually, you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. I'm going to drink my tea and imagine how frustrating that must have been. It's like talking to somebody about taxes. I wonder how much of this is just, like, their experiences at the DMV. Explore the town. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of gray stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. Oh my god. Who'll try it? Who'll buy? A street vendor turns skewers on the grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Try the grilled troglodyte prawns, huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours. But they smell fresh. Not bad at all. Taggy and toothsome. Walk on, cheerfully chewing. You've lost hunger. Uh, that's all for now. I've lost terror. Hey, and I've gained a fragment. That's nothing. That's just, that's, why, God, why? I don't have enough money to, uh, to do shore leave. Uh, and I'm also just not good enough in fails, really. Uh, so let's, uh, what kind of shops do you got? Uh, you've got few and you've got muter salt. I don't have enough money. Also... They don't trade in money, they want sea stories. Okay, bye. Uh, and they like tales of terror. For Stygian ivory. Where do people buy that all good like? Uh, I can tell tales of terror uh, for, uh, for supplies. No, I'm good, thanks, bye. You guys are horrible. Let's go. Okay, let's see if we can avoid that dude. Uh, what's my light button? My light button is out. Okay, so uh, here's the crazy thing. So I've got this terror meter that's, that's filling up. Uh, it's really neat. Oh, what the f fuck is that? Uh, bad things happen the more terror you have. Um, your terror goes up faster if your lights are off. I've discovered Codex. Oh, this is Codex. That's fine. Uh, and is almost certainly not a reference to uh, the guild. Codex, a desperate isle of mute exiles and an inexplicable colony of shivering, bad-tempered monkeys. Sure, why not? Acquire a doomed monster hunter. What do I need for that? A searing enigma. Uh, all right. Compile a port report. No one will speak. This is a challenge. Silently forthright. The exiles see many, see many come, fewer leave. Some are even willing to communicate, but their gestures are unfamiliar. The meaning, unclear. Even when you can understand, there are answers without questions, as useless as a key without a lock. Thanks, I've got a port report. Wonderful. Awesome. Great. Let's go. Uh, let's get away from the... It's not snow, it's salt. It's blowing in the wind like snow, but it's salt. All right, Z-Bat, tell me what I'm going to find. I fed the crew. Uh, Frost found at some distance to the east. Sure, I'll play your silly little game. And I will get murdered in the ocean. Uh, how am I doing on food? Uh, I've got supplies of seven. I've got fuel of seven. Uh, I'm going to drop by Frost found, and then I should probably go back to port, because everything's horrible. 
this is neat and interesting looking. Uh, so this is Frost Found. I don't know where the dock is here. Um, that looks promising. This all, where my portrait is, that looks really promising. So there you go. It is. It's totally right there. We're good. We're good. We're good and safe. Nothing bad will ever happen. Uh, oh, a breath of change passes. So, uh, something waits for me in port. So when I, I get to my next uh, port location, uh, nice things should happen. Oh, I can hire a guy if I had any kind of money. Uh, there are no shops, so I can't sell anything. Frost found. Towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice, raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. No spider ever wove so complex a web. The towers are utterly pristine, untouched by human life, but a pitiable encampment squats by the dock. Engage an officer. I'll do that later. Take tea with the squatters in the dock. Some of them wear the robes of Iremi Riddlefishers. Mm. Some look like the White Hern folk, I'm guessing. But even more rag but even more ragged. But they seem a little more practical than either of those people. Sure. Take tea with the squatters. A surprisingly warm welcome, Frostfall or Forn found. A we're keeping the steps What? We're keeping the steps for the game of truths, a helpful riddle fisher explains as she fills your cup for a third time. Every year the people of Irem and Wither come here for she pauses contests. She finis fa finishes vaguely. The difference between question and riddle, one day someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spend a pleasant few hours while the tea is supplemented with Iremi liqueurs, pale white hern beer, and something the riddle fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the riddle fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here. That happens. We always feel bad for them. I gained fuel. I've lost terror. That's great. This is the best. This game is so nice. Nothing bad ever happens. Unlocks with Mirrors 50. I have Mirrors 50. Enter Frostfound. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm going to compile a port report. Not all are Remy or Whitehorn. There's an odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor. Now and then a very cold, very sad, rubbery man. But for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry reigns. This is... I'm gonna die here. I'm going to die here. A long flight of stairs rises glistening to the sheer tower. There is no door. Your reflection hangs in the cloudy ice. Face the wall probably shouldn't do that, one of the squatters advises. Ignore her. Face the wall. Examine your cloudy reflection. Close your eyes. Step forward. Shiver. Frost found radiates both cold and a subtler chill of the heart. Did you move at all? Or is your reflection that moved? You are inside Frost found. I'm gonna die here. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, Eliza. You have to die. The corridors are Frost found. Light! A hundred rich and blinding colors filter through the ice. I've been... It's like drinking a kaleidoscope. It's like being kidnapped by rainbows. The colors shift with each step you take, revealing shining corridors. In each and every corridor, your reflection waits. Enter the sapphire chamber. The corridor shimmers with blue as rich as the sky the surface. Leave. Uh, no, I'm entering. A howling wind. It feels your ears, but the air is still. Oh, sweet merciful. Every facet of ice crystal wall is the hard and depthless blue of the desert sky. You take one step further in and the blue plucks at your senses. Vertigo spins you. A voice intones, what, what, this was the sky! Step into the sky. You'll be terribly exposed, but you'll learn something. You will sacrifice a point of veils. Sorry, Eliza. You've gained terror and lost veils. Yes, this blue is brittle, savage barrier. Press against it and it will shatter, spilling into the high wilderness. The stars are hungry and there's a horror upon you. Your head spins. Oh. Sure. 
Over here are corridors, the deep violet of the more colorful undersea corals. Dappled shadows drift like fish, predatory shapes. You are the center of hunters. You are the center of hunters' attention. Things like, and unlike sharks, long sleep, sleek, half visible behind the walls. You have the sudden sense that they are vaster than sharks, fast, vaster than frost found itself. I'm totally. What is? No. No. What? No. God. Uh, God. What? No. Perspective confounds you. This place stretches away every direction through a dusty purple haze. As if you float in the cloud, the air is chill and crackling. Vast and shadowy shapes hang lifeless in the distant cloud. Fluid staining their hides. Whale things and beast things, bigger than dirigibles, bigger than cities. You are a speck in the cloud. Are you still inside Frostfound? Once again there is a voice. Lifeless as, as leaden type, there were casualties. Approach the Colossi. Fear is the way to the heart of Frostfound. You will not escape unscathed. I will sacrifice a point of iron. Why am I doing this? This is terrible. Terror Profundi. Great, sad, dead eyes like stagnant crater lakes. Mouths which could drink rivers. Your entire ship would be a glint in the speck and a pockmark on the least limb of these things. Every time you enter battle, you will remember this. Why am I getting so much terror? Why am I doing this? Enter the cavity. A corridor glows with the rich red of sunlight on fresh blood. Yes, I will keep going. It is bright as pain. As you tread the corridor's crimson facets, you almost expect your feet to come away sticky. Wow, okay, that's normal. That's not as horrible as the last place. I'm certain it's fine. The cavity. You are bathed in crimson light, thick as cream. It warms your skin and fills your mouth with the taste of iron. This is only a memory of a memory, a voice intones. The crime is forgotten, its shadow remains. Surrender to the traces of horror. Whatever was remembered here is gone, but even its traces still scald the air. You can give in to it, but it will damage you. This will take away hearts. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Compare your own memories of horror. An almost impossible challenge. Okay, bye. All living things are joined in the chain, men and apes, bees and roses, messengers and stars. When the red science breaks it, even time is scarred. Now the scar has touched your spirit. I'm really, really fearful right now. I'm going to die. How many more of these are there? If I'm... God, oh God, oh why? The green of forests, of poison, of leaves haloed by arc light. Leaf shadows in motion, chilly air, the scent of pine. Da! Ah, it's an eye. It's an eye. Rich, deep forest green of infinite depths and tints. Tints. If secrets had a color, it would be this. It baffles and delights the eye. A chilly wind brushes you. Something sought. The voice intones. Something lost. This is going to cost me mirrors. High risk challenge. Unlocked with fragments. 17% chance of success. Mm. I need like loads of this. Oh, God. Oh, why? Changes. There are changes which will wash away all that you were and all that you are. Nothing is familiar. Everything is new as morning. Your sight is dazzled. Your perceptions confounded. I am really fearful. Diamond, diamond, diamond sounds like a last thing, doesn't it? Actually, I'm, I, it's got to be, uh, there's got to be only five. Please tell me there's only five. When you close your eyes, the light does not diminish. A narrow space of blinding light, all colors and none, between the towers of Bright and the towers of Teneb, once on the bridge you will be exposed, like an insect in the desert, like fresh carcass on the operating table, like a jewel in the sun. Oh, I haven't been to the surface. All right. Cross the bridge, the light will erode what you are. Lose some pages. You stumble through a mounting haze of dread. The light tears at you, the thoughts wither... Thoughts wither like charring paper across on the merely brilliant light of inner frost found. 
Okay, I'm at 95 terror. Uh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Enter iridescence. A softer, pearlier, mirror fog glow coils from this corridor. Please. If this is Frostfound's pearl, what dark inclusion provoked it? The light here is very different. The ice crystal walls are invisible behind a soft and luminous fog. Even the air is warmer. Your shadow paces you, stalking the boundaries of the fog. Know yourself, a voice intones. Know yourself? Never mind that. Take the direct approach. Assault your shadow reflection. I do not have a searing enigma, so I can't know myself. It's time to die. A savage battle. Over and over you go in a tumble of furious limbs. You know all your weak spots, but so do you. Fingernails gouge your flesh, reach your eyes, words gouge deeper. At last you rise, trembling, your blood on your own hands. I lost mirrors, hearts, pages, veils. I'm wounded. Three wounds will kill me. I have five new terror. I am crazed. I've lost iron. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. Bad is everything. I could leave, but I've come so far. I've come so far, Eliza. Eliza, you've come so far because I'm playing Eliza right now. Let's go. Oh, God. Enter the dark room. Nothing is visible. Sacred ground. The dark room. Almost silence. Soft breath. The crushing pressure of a once-lived experience as the core of a star corpse. Frostfound's lightless heart. Returning Traveler. You've been here before. You wrote your name. You wrote it in your blood, which is fire. Uh, I have not unlocked with letters of the name which burns no more than zero. You need menaces. Wow. Wow, this is awful. Uh, fumble in the darkness, which appears to be... I can run away. Oh. I can get the star shell if I have more mirrors. I can be defiant if uh, I've got gods of the sea. Fumble in the darkness. Was it only curiosity that brought you this far? Perhaps you can salvage something, regardless. It was can't be. Oh. I've got unlucky. Salt's curse lies on you. Need. Your hand closes on a memory. Long ago, a traveler went east, seeking something that could not be found in the black and starry kingdoms of the high wilderness, nor in the irigo temptations of Nadir, of the Nadir. Not in the glow of the forge, nor the crushing silence of the Untersee deeps, not in the shapeling citadels, not in the light of the south, not of the sundered sea. The traveler went east, and others may follow. You found something the traveler tried to forget. That naked need. The traveler won't be pleased. I've gained mirrors. Great. I've gained a searing enigma. I was unlucky. Uh, you have despoiled a sacred place. Salt's curse lies on you. A curse lies on you. The curse of the nameless god of farewells. Everything's bad. Oh. I should get one of these sun-filled mirror catch boxes. Time to go, because there's nothing to do here. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna ask about the castle. If you can enter, you should not. Uh, did I already read this? We get enthusiasts here from time to time. Yes, you might be able to enter the castle before the appointed time. You might even find something of value there, but you'll be despoiling sacred ground, my friend. It will take your stories from you. It will take your essence, yourself. And if you survive that, you'll likely anger the gods of the sea. Yes, they're real, as real as the corridors of Frostfound are. Stay away, my friend, stay away. Why didn't I read that sooner? No, okay. That's it. Any shops? Any officers to pick up? God, I'm doomed. Doom. I have a doom. Ugh. Oh, God, why? Uh, okay. It's time to go. Uh, I've got a million terror. Uh, I do, I just need to rest. I need to get back home, and I need to rest. So let's get out of here. And this is the kind of stuff that happens. Mutiny. 
Fear and despair have destroyed the loyalty of your crew. Half of those who remain have taken up arms against you, and you've taken shelter on the bridge while their shots ring around you. Cut them down! Uh, a high-risk challenge. Uh, attempt to win them? Round. I don't have good hearts, or uh, I guess my iron is better. So, cowards, villains, damn them all! Treachery and despair. You take cover with your loyalists and hold them at bay as long as you can. One by one, you run out of ammunition. When they storm the bridge, you fight them hand to hand to no avail. One of them smashes you through the glass of the bridge windows. You tumble to the deck and they shout in desperate victory and land with and victory and land with a final crunch. You and all your crew are gone. London will speculate in vain as to how you might have met your end. Into darkness, you will be mourned. Uh, but I've provided for my heir. I don't. I don't have an ironclad will. So everything's bad. It's over for now, but choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. Your first captain has died. Don't worry, these things happen. Explore boldly with your next captain. You now lodge in the room above the blind helmsman because I don't have a house because I never bought it because I died. I died. I should have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eliza. It's all over for now. Uh, legacies unlocked. I don't have any legacies. Uh, you were Eliza's warrant of redemption. Uh, no, I'm gonna take. Uh, was it mirrors? Was mirrors the thing I have? So I'm gonna get Eliza's chart, maybe? Uh... Uh, what good does having that gun do me? I mean, really, I mean, I guess since I died so early, I'll take her chart. Which I think is the map. Uh, sure. Because, like, who cares about the ferret? He's useless. Except the legacy. I was, uh, I, I used to write to Eliza. You can fire before your firing solution's complete. Thanks. That's not what killed me. Uh, in a previous life, uh, let's say I was an ordained priest this time. Uh, you fell from grace. Once we're done with all of this uh, London stuff, that's when I'll uh, we'll, we'll be ending the stream then because everything's horrible and I died so bad. I, I should have turned around because my terror reached 100 and you get murdered. Uh, you fell from grace. There's nothing left ashore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps, at Z, you can overcome your appetites. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, oh great, I've got a gall-eyed engineer. Uh, her eyes will hatch soon, but until then, she wants to work. Hmm, great. Hmm. Hmm. Her eyes are gonna hatch. It's great. I'm gonna still do uh, fulfillment. I like I like trying to gather the stories. It's fun. Uh, I'm going to be uh, I was her rival, and I'm gonna be my lady, uh, and so I will be addressed as my lady. Uh, and uh, because I'm my lady, I will be a lady of letters because uh, we were rivals. Uh, and I wrote bad stories about her, and instead of being Eliza, oh god, uh, what were the names of the other sisters? Uh, man, uh, I'll be Penny. Penny will do. Penny isn't the, the real name. What the hell is that? The Labyrinth of Tigers. I thought I would be done quick is open under the patronage of London Zoological Society to cautious visitors for educational purposes. Here you may see the Devil Apes of Far Mandalay, the Thing in the Mirror, the Cantig 
Gaster's Children, the Gargantuan Cave Snake, the Inhabitor of Wolves, that sounds bad, the Hybrid Fiend, NB, the management recommends that you arrange your exit well before closing time. Wow. Provide a creature to the... Oh. Purchase a live specimen. Interesting. Okay, so that's new. Uh, at my lodgings, I'm going to read the morning papers. Uh, oh, this is different. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside of her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gallblighter wasps. Uh, I could buy things if I could buy things. Uh, London is the greatest city in the world. I'm going to go to the Admiralty's office. Uh, do you have anything you want? Uh, he wants me to find the Iron and Misery Company funging station somewhere enough for and I have to retie, retrieve strategic information, which I don't know if that's the survey uh, thing, uh, which I've never been paid for and can't demonstrate because uh, I got murdered by my crew. Uh, so that happened uh, because I'm a bad person. I could hire more crew because I think I'm at a crew of eight right now. Yup. Um, everything's oh. Yeah, sure, I'll pick up a tomb colonist. It's oddly difficult to die and fall in London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew, your crew cart those ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Great, so I've got a, I've got a, I've got a talking, walking corpse with me. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see, I've done my Londons, I've done that. Uh, the last thing to do is right-click to speak to the officer. Speak to the gall-eyed engineer. You are so beautiful, she tells you dreamily. There are briars in your mouth. Her left eye pulses slowly. It's always difficult to know what she's actually seeing. What does she want? The gallblighter wasps. You know it? Its children are in me, she smiles. I can't be sorry. I see such things. She tails off, hungrily watching your face. What is it she's seeing? King Eater's castle, she says at last, rather breathily. Her hand goes up to her throat. I would like to see King Eater's castle through tho these eyes before I go. Well, that's grim. That's grim. Uh, so, I've got things. I'm not hated by God anymore because I died. Uh, wait, does it actually tell me? Oh, God. It, it's keeping track of how many captains I've lost. That's awful. Uh, almost safe. Nope, no details on that. I've got various objectives. Uh, Admiralty commissions, okay. Uh, memoirs. Quality of lodging, it's terrible, and I'm a fallen priest. Alright, uh, let's go shopping so that for tomorrow's live stream I will be better prepared. I like having more of these. Uh, is there anything else I should pick up? Nope, and how's my ship doing? Uh, I thought there was a way to check out my ship. Good. I've got a deck cannon. Uh, I've got these tomb colonists. I've got my ver- what's this? You are in unforgiving mode, which has no save slots beside the basic autosave, and you lose this token if you switch from unforgiving to, to, to terrible. I've got recent news. I've got my one deck cannon. Everything's terrible. I'm going to die. It's been nice knowing all of you. Uh, you know something of the Interzy. That's great. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go back to the to big faces uh, and let's mute the game. Uh, it's been lovely playing with all of you today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, or sorry, on Tuesday, I will continue playing Sunless Sea. This time we will see how Penny fares. Uh, and, uh, shit, let's just have a good time. I really love this game. I hope you guys enjoy the sound of my voice, because you're going to be hearing it a lot, because it's basically just a long novel, choose-your-own-adventure, uh, that's randomly generated and really awesome. So, uh, let's do that, and let's never go back to Frostbound again. Ever. Period. A terrible, and everybody dies. Uh, anyway, 
thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Oh, please. Right. I'm trying to make money here. Uh, please do subscribe to uh, the channel, which I think can be done like down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, and uh, check out our Patreon at www.patreon.com slash crookedthimble. And uh, make certain to visit our website at crookedthimble.com. Uh, peace out. Good. Been lovely seeing y'all. Good night.